The front entrance door has a mains powered doorbell. The door chime is located inside the door. There is a light above the door with the light switch located inside and the front door has a number of features including a spy hole, vision panel, security letter box and keychain. To lock the door, residents should close the door and lift the handle upwards as far as it will go. Then turn the key to the left anti-clockwise. Once locked, you will not be able to press the handle down. This means it's now secure. To unlock the front door, residents should insert the key into the lock and turn it to the right clockwise and then push down on the handle and push the door open. The internal doors are opened by pushing down the handle and opening the door inwards. The external or balcony doors, these are used just like the front door. To close, pull the door shut, lift the handle which engages the locking mechanism, insert the key, turn to the left. To unlock, insert the key and turn to the right and then press down the handle. The bathroom door, this is the same as the internal doors, however to lock or unlock residents should turn the thumb lock and press down on the handle to open. The kitchen has a number of features. There are mains powered smoke alarms fitted. To test the alarm, press the button and wait for the sounder. There are main powered carbon monoxide tester fitted. To test the alarm, press the button and wait for the sounder. If there's a fault, the light will show and contact your landlord. There is a round ventilation grill above the kitchen cooker to extract air. There's a space for a cooker to be connected to gas and power as shown. There is a lockable cupboard in the kitchen to keep medicines or cleaning fluids safe. The sink comes with a metal plug to be inserted into the plug hole. The tap is operated by turning the knob, the cold is on the right and the hot is on the left. The tap head can also swivel. Under the kitchen sink you will find the supply connections and a waste for a washing machine or dishwasher. Here is the connection for water. Also there is a valve to turn on the gas to the cooker by turning the yellow handle to the right. The apartments have a number of power control switches for the appliances in the kitchen. Press to turn them on. When the light is on, it means the power is on. The windows have trickle vents to allow air to circulate. They are opened by pulling or sliding the cover. The windows are opened by inserting a small window key and turning the lock to the right, and then by pressing the button in and lifting the handle. Push the window open. There's a safety catch in the window frame. Unhook this. The window will open further by pushing it out and it can be fully rotated, allowing for cleaning on both sides. The light to the bathroom is outside. Press the button to turn it on. There is a light above the bathroom mirror. It can be turned on by sliding the switch to the left and includes a night mode. There is also a shaver socket above the sink. The sink has an integrated plug. To block the sink, press down the silver plug. To unblock the sink, press the silver plug again and it will pop up. The lever tap turns to the left for hot water and right for cold water. To control the flow, lift the lever upwards. Lift the toilet seat to use and to flush, press the button on top of the system. There are two settings, short flush and long flush. The chrome coloured towel rail is connected to the heating system. To turn on and control the heat, turn the white control valve. The bath has a thermostatically controlled shower and tap fitting. Push the left knob away from you and the shower comes on. Turn the knob towards you and the bath tap comes on. The right hand side controls are for the temperature. If you press the small knob, this will allow residents to increase the temperature of the water. There is also an inspection panel at the side of the shower to check for leaks or make repairs. In the bedroom cupboard there is a small heater. Press the switch on the right hand side to turn on. The light should appear. 
There is a valve to drain the radiator. This is done by taking the cap off and turning the small knob. To release air from the radiator, use a screwdriver to turn the valve until the air is released. The radiator again is controlled by turning the valve to the desired setting. Lights and sockets are used by pressing on the switches. Included is a telephone socket. Insert the cable by lifting the port. There is also TV and radio aerial points. In the utility cupboard there are boiler filling loops to top up the boiler pressure. Always consult your landlord in regard to any problems with the boiler. There is a shore stop valve which allows residents to turn off the water easily by pressing the switch if there is a leak or you are away from home. The consumer unit, turn the knob and lift the cover to open. There is a series of switches or RCDs to turn on and off the power and the lights within the apartment. Each RCD is marked with a label. To turn off, push the switch down. To turn on, push the switch up. To test the power, push the yellow test button and then push the main switch back up. The boiler is in the cupboard in the kitchen. The pilot light indicates the gas boiler is on. To access the controls, pull down the panel. The knob on the left turns the heating temperature up and down, as indicated on the screen. The knob on the right does the same for the hot water. The dial at the top indicates the water pressure. The arrow should be between 1.5 and 2 bar of pressure. The heating and hot water programmer can be used in manual or auto mode. To program the temperature of the heating, use the up and down temperature buttons and press the green button to set. The programmer has four settings, meaning it can come, off, come on and off twice a day at selected times and preset temperatures. It can also be set over a seven day period, as indicated at the top of the display screen. By selecting each day, you can select the time and temperature and then press the green select button again to complete the process. Outside your apartment, located at ground floor level, there's a brown gas meter box. To locate your meter, lift the lid and read the screen. Inside the meter cupboard, with white doors, again at ground floor level, you'll find electric meters and the main power switch, labelled with the apartment numbers. Bike stores are also located around the development. Bikes can be stored and locked against the metal hoops. There's also water and lights in the cycle stores. There are several electric vehicle power points to recharge your car and a bin store at the entrance to the development. The apartment has a video entry phone system. Press the button to call. Pick up the receiver to speak and press the green button to release the front door lock so that the door can be pushed open. To open the door from the inside, residents can press the green exit button and the door will unlock. The radiator can be controlled by using the lever on the top of the radiator by turning it clockwise. The kitchen has a number of features for disabled residents. A mobile base unit, pull down shelf storage, a sink and worktop area which is height adjustable by turning the handle. The cooker has several features. The cooker knob is on the left with the fan, oven and grill settings, a clock in the centre and a temperature control to the right. The windows in the bathroom can be opened manually by using the winder system. Turn to the right to open. The WC has a secure seat and a flush handle that pushes down. The disabled shower has a number of controls. The large one here controls the water flow and the temperature. The small lever above controls which shower head the water comes from. The shower head can be adjusted in height by pressing the knob and sliding it up or down. The hand basin has a pair of lever taps. 